Hi there, welcome to Gaisuko Roundup. I'm Delroy Dash, thank you for joining us. In this edition, we focus on the ever-reliable and efficient pond being used for decades as a multifunctional resource in the industry. Our CEO, Mr. Sesenran Singh, appealed to our cane harvesters for their renewed commitment as we push towards the final weeks of production for this, the first crop of 2021. Also, strike action by factory and field workers affect the cooperation's ability to achieve set targets and sugar cake, a Guyanese tradition. We showed how it's made. Last week, there were a number of activities across the industry, one of which was protest action at our three operating estates by some workers represented by the Guyana Agricultural Workers Union, GAU, on the issue of wages negotiation. While the management of the corporation recognizes and respects the rights of workers, management is appealing to workers to let good sense prevail. It's in order. Um, we don't want to be having caribou canes. We lose sugar and we have caribou canes. And if we can't take up the crop, by say the second week or third week of May, then we will be facing the area of having to be harvest the second crop of 2021. And that in itself will result in a lot of shows. So I'd like the watch as we come out and put up so that we can continue to uh, produce and uh, aim, uh, aim to achieve our target of 12,400 and 4,000 bushels. I would like to advise that um, good sense should prevail. Let us talk, discuss whatever issue they may be lying and um, it, it is always good for a good sense to prevail because all of us are involved, all of us can be consumed by it, as Martin Carter said. So it is always important all of us work and uh, continue to contribute and at the same time have our discussion so that we could come out with an amicable solution with whatever issue might be like. Meanwhile, Seis Narayan Singh, Chief Executive Officer of Gaisuko, during his visit to Blairmon Estate, took the opportunity to further appeal to workers to exercise patience as the corporation continues the negotiation process with Gao. Your wages are very, very important to this industry. Extremely important. Now, why is it important? It is important because if your family is solid, this country is solid, right? If your family is solid, this country is solid. But you gotta understand, when we took over this industry, I joined this job in September. When I walk into Enmore Packaging Plant, and I look around, steel there all over, hanging up all over the place. Nothing worked. Forklift wheel missing, all the, the packaging plants, they're upside down, not everything just jumped. Rock there, cut take over the whole place. The bottom line is, since then to now, we've been able to clean that whole place up. And we got two packaging lines working right now. We just bought two more. Four packaging lines will be there by the end of June. Same plans we got for this packaging plant. And why are we doing this? Because the old guy Suku produce raw sugar on a ship. We sell sugar on a ship for 300 US dollars, but we're producing at 600 dollars. Think about it. We're losing. What we're trying to do is to turn the whole thing around. With the packaging plant, we'll send sugar for $700, produce it at six, make a little bit of profit. But that profit, we can reinvest it into the workers. That is the game plan. But we need some time. Striking is not going to help this process. And let me ask a simple, simple question. When y'all strike, y'all is happy? That ain't making no sense to me. Y'all gotta think about this now. Y'all gotta spread this word. You cannot allow people to mislead you. You have to understand we're closing this crop. We got a bigger enemy. The biggest enemy we got is rain and more rain and more rain. And unless we work during the sunshine days like this, within the crop, everybody, the industry lose, your family lose, Everybody lose. The nation lose. Because the nation is depending on sugar too. So I'm appealing to y'all. This crop comes to an end on May 15th. I'm asking all of y'all to please put your best foot forward between now and May 15th. And I can tell you why. All of you got WPI for two weeks. Did y'all not? Didn't y'all get a little bump in the pocket? 
Tell me the truth, let me hear. Everybody got something. So the bottom line is, we're asking all of y'all to please put your best foot forward so we can get to WPI next week. And if we get to WPI, which means every one of you get a bump in your pocket. Let's be real now. This is bread and butter issue. This is about you and your family. And we got to make this happen. Let's put our heads down, make a successful crop between now and May 15th. And when we make that happen, everybody, it's a win-win situation for every one of us. What are the union talking about in 2019, right? And um, 2020 is settled there. Eh? We paid the 5% for 2020 already. And plus the government gave me all the 25,000. You obviously see the one, right? Yeah, it's here. So 2020 is settled. Um, 2019, we're taking a proposal to the board. And we're going to take that to the union on May 4th. Listen, y'all get two days WPI. Is y'all? You get WPI? Yeah, yeah. And when you get WPI, what happened? Start, yeah. What happened? Yeah, you get more money in the pocket. Yeah, we get more money. So let me go hard for next week to get WPI. So we can put more money in your pocket next week. This kid, this crap only got three more weeks, you know. Yeah. If we can dance for all three, we'll live. It's three weeks. 10,000 average cake out to get in the packet. Extra. And most of the money is tax free, not all. So when this weekend, it's tax free. Yeah, you remember that, right? So let me go for the WPI. And what I promise you, we're sitting down with the union on May 4th, and we're going to find a solution. Etsuko don't have the money, but we're working on it. So you have to understand it's a tight situation, but I'm working with all the stakeholders to find a solution. But you gotta keep me patient, but don't let nobody confuse you between our main fortune. Let me sit down and let me be talking with union leadership and we're working to get this emotion. Right? I'm going to my board on April 27th to put this proposal to them and say this is the part of cash we can be forwarded to the union. Then on May 4th, we're carrying the cash in front of the big union says, guys, let me agree on something. And once they say yes, we can do that. Right? So let's all be a little bit patient a little bit patient we committed to the workers because i recognize one thing the workers is the most important aspect in this institution father hutton griffith estate manager outlined the positive developments projected at Blairmont. the government of guyana will be pumping into this estate a total of uh, over 800 million dollars in terms of capital work uh, work that we will um, see the benefit um, in another year or two in terms of our ability to package and bag more sugar. Um, there's, there's investment being made with regards to the infrastructure, bridges, our weather road, um, development, etc. Um, free equipment uh, will also be improved uh, so that we can get to our true potential of producing 40,000 tons of sugar by the year 2026.
keeping with our major stakeholders' promise to revitalize the industry, 230 new fronts will be constructed this year for our three operating estates, including Rose Hall Estate, which is expected to commence grinding second front of 2022. Let's find out more about the importance of front, which is a unique form of transportation. In Guyana, unlike any other sugar-producing country in the world, the use of unique elongated boats made from steel, often referred to as funds, are used to transport harvested sugarcane from the field to the factory for grinding. The use of funds was introduced to Guyana centuries ago by the Dutch, who were Guyana's first sugarcane planters as the method of transportation in and around the cultivation due to the intricate layout of the waterways designed for drainage and irrigation of the sugarcane fields. At the Guyana Sugar Corporation, punts are used for several purposes including the movement of workers, fertilizers, mobile mechanical workshop, water storage, crossing, and the transportation of harvested sugarcane from the field to the factory. Kaisipu has been using, using punts as a means of being transport to the factory. It's uh, um, taking into consideration our um, um, free access to water. We have um, designed waterways where we utilize to transport um, our ponds to the factory. It is very efficient and um, um, cost effective. Designed and fabricated by workers at Gaisuku Central Workshop located at Albion Port Morant Estate. Now um, at Central Workshop, um, they have the fabrication department that they, and welders. Um, they're using my steel plate and they could manufacture fun. They have what it takes to do the carving in terms of the head, um, using pipe to make the buff for the front of the fun. And they could produce at an average of, um, within three, two days, they could produce about two funds, make two new funds using the steel, steel plate and um, pipe that they have here. And they've been very, very successful in doing that. And um, it has been done in a job rated manner. So Central Workshop is here to produce or my uh, fabricate three ponds in two days. The efficiency of the ponds outweighs its production costs. The new pond costs approximately a million dollars. And um, uh, a re re bottom ponds costs about a um, half million dollars. That is replacing the bottom that would have worn out over a period of time. Um, but in terms of um, the pond fleet, what has happened over the years, because we haven't had um, a continuous supply of new ponds, we have in the fleet um, a number of funds that are pretty old. So the cost of maintaining those is greater than the one that were received recently. After the production process is completed, the punts are transported to the various estates, tested and put into production. Well, at um, Albin here, we manufacture right at um, Central Workshop. So those punts are um, right at the head of Albin, straight into the canal. The navigation system, you throw it to the any pond for like Blaymont and Iflock, we put it in navigation, we accumulate a set of pond, we transport it with tractor or tug straight to Rosal, and um, they would take it from through the Kanji Creek using both engine or tug to transport it across Barbie River, Kanji Creek into Barbie River, straight into um, the sluice that they have there. Then they would use an excavator or drag line to heist it, lift it out, and throw it over into their navigation system. Um, and they will take it um, into the waterway. And um, for the high flock, they will have to take it out and put it on the dam again and load it on low bed. And the low bed will transport it from Blaymont to high flock estate. During the harvesting season, the punts are used primarily for the transportation of harvested sugarcane from the field to the factory. In the fields, these punts are moored as close to the edge of the field as possible then loaded either manually or semi-mechanically. Once they are fully loaded, they are then connected using robust metal chains to form a fleet of punts. The fleet is then hauled to the main waterway by oxen and then pulled along using tractors during the dry season and the water tugs during the rainy periods. One tractor could take um, at least between 30 to 40 loaded punts and a tractor, a 45 tractor, will take about 50 um, empty ponds. And that tractor, in terms of road transport, 
you like if it's the, the, the truck uh, let me say a truck could transport about 12 to 15 ton that would need additional fuel an eco-friendly method of transportation the timely delivery of the harvested sugarcane to the factory is very important on arrival to the factory they are a series of activities that happen to ensure the harvested sugarcane are delivered for grinding when the uh, pond comes into the dock after it has finished being loaded in the back end, the pond should come in the dock it is being checked off by the dock foreman the pond cars are being written up and we will start lining up once to start grinding. And how it's being done is that um, the dock tractor will start docking in front. And over at the factory, we have the capstan. The capstan is what would normally pull the pond onto the cradle. The pond goes onto the cradle and then it is being lifted. The cradle is a part of the punt dumper that clamps the punt and raises it and throws the cane into the carrier. Once the punts are emptied, depending on the lifting system used, they will require manual cleaning and return to the fields for loading. There are lots of benefits, right, that is being derived from the punt dumper. One, there's less maintenance in terms of pond cleaning because when the pond dumps you find that you would have majority of stuff water and everything would dump out of the pond at the same time when the cane is being dumped if it was a case where you had a sling you would have had to get persons to hook that sling which would take some time and possibility exists that when that when that um sling is when that bundle or that cane is being lifted possibility exists that the sling can burst or it can break that we would normally call a broken bundle right when that happens that cane goes back into the pond if you're using the sling it goes back into the pond now you have to reset you have to get forces now to load back that pond set back the sling load back the the, the pond whereas with the pond dumper you do not have that problem after a lifespan of 10 years these ponds are then used within the estate for various reconstructing purposes you cut the ponds and use the um either the bottom or the sides to do um revetment at, um, at, at bridges, um, light duty revetment at critical um, structures. Um, we will use them to repair um, other ponds, other ponds that need a patch. Uh, we will use them to repair sheds at the other line. Uh, we will use them to repair um, the, um, the labor pond sheds. So what we do is actually the entire pond is being um, utilized for um, remedial work to structures and, and, and other um, service equipment. You too can benefit from this project. Please visit our website shortly at www.gaisugu.com for more information on how you can supply materials for this project. As part of our strategy to better serve you, our valued customers, we are pleased to inform that there is no increase in the price of our packaged sugar. We wish to encourage you to purchase any of our brands, including Demerara Gold and Enmore Crystals, that are hygienically packaged. Also, if you are desirous of managing your sugar consumption, we have our 5-gram sachet, especially for you. The Guyana Sugar Corporation, Inc., through its drainage and irrigation department, LBI East Coast Demerara, invites seal bids for the following projects. Provision of manpower slash machinery to clean and maintain drainage and irrigation at Rose Hall Estate. A complete set of bidding documents for the respective project can be downloaded from www.gaisuko.com free of charge or obtained at a non-refundable cost of $2,000 each. 
Payment for same must be made at the cashier head office, LBI, East Coast Demerara, and documents are to be collected from the Secretary, Procurement and Contract Management Department upon presentation of the receipt. Site visits at the bidder's own expense have been arranged for Rose Hall Estate on Tuesday, 27th April, 2021 at 9 hours. Contractors are kindly asked to assemble at the administration building of Rose Hall Estate. Bids must include a copy of the business registration, valid tax and NIS certificates. Bids must be appropriately marked and delivered to Gaisuko Head Office, LBI, Tender Box No. 4, Provision of Manpower slash Machinery to Clean and Maintain Drainage and Irrigation at Rose Hall Estate, on or before 14 hours on Thursday, 6 May 2021. The Ghana Shore Corporation, Inc. reserves the right to accept or reject any or all of the tenders without assigning any reason or reasons. Before we go, if you use Enmore Crystals, another brand of sugar produced by Daisuko, you might want to save the empty pockets. Hint, hint. For an exciting opportunity coming up just for you. We'll tell you more about this next week. Please remember to observe all COVID-19 protocols and guidelines. Until next time, be safe. Bye for now.